Welcome to the new episode of Bollywood Gossip. Today in this video, you will get to hear some tremendous news. It will be fun to listen. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, then do it. It has become true again that if you are successful, then even your enemies become your friends. There is nothing bigger in the world than your success. And today's first news is Sonny Diol's film Godard 2 has become another big blockbuster, and Sonny Diol had organized a party to celebrate his success. Shah Rukh Khan reached that party with his wife. The same Shah Rukh Khan who did not even talk to Sonny Diol for the last 35 years. Their enmity started when the film Dar was made and ended at the success party of Godard 2. Many other Bollywood people attended this party who do not like Sonny Diol at all. Amir Khan also came to the party. So it means that the Bollywood people who did not even take Sonny Diol's call before Godar 2 did not even like to meet Sonny Diol. All those people came to Sonny after the success of Godar 2. They have all become Diol's best friends. But despite this, something is still missing. YRF owner Aditya Chopra did not come to this party. XL Entertainment owner Farhan Akhtar also did not come to this party. Even Rajkumar Hirani did not come to this party. Producer Sajid Nadiadwala also did not come to this party. Hrithik Roshan also did not come to this party, and no one from Geo, which is the biggest production house today, came to this party. According to me, Karan Johar also came to this party only because Dharam G had a very good role in his last film. So the result of this party is that even now the big production houses in Bollywood do not want to work with Sonny Diol. No big producer or big director will work with Sonny Diol. And the reason for this I have already told many times in my videos is that Sonny Diol does not have a very good record in Bollywood. Any producer or director from whom he takes the signing amount does not return it. And if the film is launched, he harasses producer and director a lot. Today's second news is about Gadar 2, director Anil Sharma. Anil Sharma is now making a film named Journey, and the hero of this film will be his son Utkarsh Sharma. Nana Patakar will be in the film to support Utkarsh. You all know what is going to happen in this film. This film will be as big a disaster as the first film Genius was. But Anil Sharma has no choice because no other producer is ready to take his son as a director. The reason for this is that whoever has seen Gadar knows very well that this boy neither knows acting nor does this boy have the personality of a hero, nor will he ever be able to become a hero in future. But you can appreciate the confidence of Anil Sharma. He says that his journey will do a box office of Rs 200 crore. Amster Sharma There is no problem in joking, but don't make such a big joke. Third news is about Sonny Diol's film Jan Mastan. I had given you this news that Sonny Diol's next film will be Jan Mastan, which also stars Sanjay Dutt. The shooting of this film was supposed to start last week, but it did not start. The reason for this is that Sonny Diol was asking for 50 crores, and finally Viacom has agreed to give 25 crores to Sonny Diol. And perhaps Sonny Diol has also accepted that. At this time, 25 crores is a very good fee, and I think now he has made up his mind that he will do this film. But Sonny Diol is such an actor who can refuse even a day before the shooting that he does not want to do the film. So until the shooting starts, it is not possible to say that yes, this film is being made. But I personally believe that Sonny Diol should do this film. Because in my opinion, no big producer will do a film with director Sonny Diol. The entire industry also knows that after 20 years, any film of Sonny Diol has been released, and it is obvious that now, none of his films is going to be released in the next 10 years. Whatever films come out will be super flops, so making a film with them is a big risk. Today's fourth news is that a film is being launched named Dono and Sonny Diol's younger son, Raj Veer. Diol is being launched in this film, with Poonam Dillon's daughter, Paloma, Suraj Barjatia's son, Avinash. Barjatia has directed this film. I also saw the trailer of this film, and I will tell you how the trailer is. As soon as the trailer starts, the hero and heroine are seated, 
and the heroine says, why are we so afraid of rejection? The boy says, yes, friend, what is so bad? Just by listening to these two dialogues between a girl and a boy, you will know that both of them do not know how to speak dialogues. He is speaking in Hindi English style. Further in the trailer, it is shown that both of them have a girlfriend's wedding, and in that wedding, both of them meet and fall in love. This story has been seen in at least 50 films till now. Watching the trailer shows that the direction of this film is not very good, and the story is also very bad. Watching the trailer also shows that the girl does not look good at all, and she also does not speak well. So it is obvious that it is impossible for this girl to become a heroine. But it is sad that Sonny Diol's son is also not looking good. Even the dialogues are not good. Acting is also not doing well. That means this boy does not have any such talent that can bring glory to the Dio family. And watching this trailer, it becomes absolutely clear that it is impossible for this film to work. Today's fifth news is about Vijay Devarakonda. You all know that on last Friday, a film based on Vijay Devarakonda was released named Kushi. The landing cost of this film is Raz 600 crore, and this film has done a business of about Raz 15 to 20 crore, including South and Hindi. That means this film is a super duper flop. And here I would like to tell you that this is almost the fifth film of Vijay Devarakonda, which is a super flop. I am amazed to see this actor. I wonder who made Vijay Devarakonda a hero. He doesn't know how to act. He doesn't know how to speak. He doesn't know how to walk. His behavior is very bad. Arrogance is the biggest problem of Vijay Devarakonda. Today's sixth news is about Hansel Mehta. This old director in Bollywood who considers himself a great genius, a great director. A few days ago, a web series was released named Scam 2003. Everyone who viewed this web series got a headache. His eyesight had diminished a little, and that is why everyone who watched this web series started abusing old Hansel Mehta. Friends, today's seventh news is about KGF2 hero Yash. You all know that this film was a big blockbuster. After that, this actor rejected all the stories he heard till now. Till date, this actor has not agreed to do any story, and that is why he has been sitting at home for the last three years. Now he has no work and dreaming that maybe Karan Johar and Aditya Chopra will approach him with new films. Yash has been sitting at home for the last three years, and if it increases for the next two years, then it is obvious that after that, people will forget him and no one will offer him any film. KGF2 was successful because of the director and storyline. Your stardom has nothing to do with that film. Now do one film and find out how big your stardom is and how many people want to see your film. Today's eighth news is about Malagan superstar Shahid Kapoor, whose weight is approximately 2.5 feet 3 inches, have small hands. The poor guy has small legs, but considers himself a big superstar. Not his fault either. Bollywood people also believe in him. I do not know why. Now this boy went to attend a wedding and got angry at the journalists there. He shouted at the journalists and asked them why are they shouting. I stood here. How can you shout in front of me? You don't know what a big superstar I am. Mr. Shahid, listen to me. You are a superstar only in your dreams or a superstar at your home. You are not a superstar anywhere outside. People outside don't even want to watch your films. So if a big star like Shah Rukh Khan shouts at journalists, then it is understandable. But if a superstar of Malagan like you shouts, then it is not right. Another news is also from the success party of Ghadar 2. See, many actors had come there. Karthik Aryan also went there. But when Karthik was on the stage, the old man came, so Karthik got a photo clicked with the old man also. Mr. Karthik have some shame. You are such a big superstar. Don't do this, at least keep your respect. If you get photographed with such small actors, what will the public think about you? How will the public consider you a big superstar? Always take photo with big superstars like Hrithik Roshan, Shah Rukh Khan. 
I think you did not do the right thing by getting your photo clicked with such small actor of the market. Didn't do it right at all. Another interesting news about Sonny Diol. Many of you know that Sonny Diol and SRK have been enemy for a long time. But let me tell you that Sonny Diol has the biggest enemy with the Bakchan family. The reason for this is that Sonny Diol had a film named Insaniyat. Amitabh Bakchan was cast in a small role in it. But gradually, Amitabh Bakchan became the main lead hero of that film, and Sonny Diol was left with a small role. And when the poster of that film was released, it also had a big photo of Amitabh Bachchan and a small photo of Sonny Diol. And at that time, Sonny Diol became very angry. From then till today, Sonny Diol does not like Amitabh Bachchan at all. Something similar happened with Aishwarya Rai. There was a film in which the hero was Sonny Diol, and the heroine was Aishwarya Rai. Aishwarya also shot for a few days, and after that Aishwarya left the film. Aishwarya said that she does not want to do a film with Sonny Diol. The matter is over. Even after this, Sonny Diol offered many films to Aishwarya, but Aishwarya never worked with Sonny, and this is the reason why Sonny Diol is angry with Aishwarya till date. There is also a news about Amisha Patel's joke. Amisha Patel says that Gadar has become a super hit because of her. If Amisha Patel was not there, then the public would not have gone to watch that film. Now whoever wants to sign Amisha, she is asking for five crore. Please Amisha believe me, your washerman, barber, driver and even the office boy does not watch your film because of you, then how can your fee be five crore? You tell me. Even four people in your street don't watch your film because of you. Who told you that you are a superstar and your fee should be ours 5 crore? If someone gives you even 50 lakh, it is a big deal. That man is mad, blind, that he is giving you 50 lakh. Another news about SRK. I used to say that SRK should play roles according to his age. SRK should play the role of elder brother. He should play the role of father and the role of grandfather. But SRK did not do this. Rather, SRK played the role of youth, and in my opinion, I was absolutely wrong. SRK is absolutely right. SRK also looked very young in Pathan, and Pathan was a blockbuster. SRK is looking like a very young boy in Jawan, and the advance booking of Jawan is also getting tremendous. That means the Jawan is certain to be a hit. From this, it became clear that the public alone does not like to watch films about old people. If an actor has grown old, then the public does not go to watch his films. The mentality of the public is that they only want to see the young hero. So I completely agree with the fact that SRK's decision is absolutely right, that he is playing the role of a young man in all his films. And this is the reason why he is still crazy among the public. Even today, the public is going to watch his films. So it becomes clear that where our thinking ends, SRK's thinking begins from there. Today's 13th news is about Kangana Ranaut's new film, Chandramukhi 2. I also saw the trailer of this film and was surprised to see it. After watching this trailer, I came to know that the story of this film is exactly the same as that of Akshay Kumar's film, Bhul Bulaya. The role of Vidya Balan in that film is the same role of Kangana Ranaut in this film. I don't know whether the South producer or director has officially taken the rights of Pool Bulaya to make this film in the South. If they have made this film without taking the rights, then I think the producers of Pool Bulaya can file a case against this film because legally this is not possible at all. Can you make an exact copy of a movie without rights? Another hot news is that Shah Rukh Khan's film Jawan is being talked about in the media of the country. And people are also saying that Shah Rukh Khan's company buying all the tickets and in a way, Shah Rukh Khan himself is buying all those tickets. This is absolutely wrong. See, this is the value of Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan's brand is such that when the companies that Shah Rukh Khan promotes or work as brand ambassadors when new film released, they buy the tickets of his films and distribute them among their employees. And those who are employees of those companies become happy that they are getting to watch Shah Rukh Khan's film for free. Let me tell you this, 
If those people buy tickets of Emran Hashmi's film, then even an employee will swear to boycott that film. They will not go to watch that film. So what I mean to say is that if many companies are buying tickets of Shah Rukh Khan's film Jawan, then it is the goodwill of Shah Rukh Khan, his value. But that money is not going from Shah Rukh Khan's pocket at all. Some critics have released reviews of this film, and they are not very good. But I think this film is a blockbuster. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe out channel.